Central Oregon shenanigans. All right guys, so what happened was we got one last part to put on this thing. And... All right guys, so we uh, busted the oil cine unit. It's pretty much the last thing that needs to be put on this engine. Uh, we've put a successful 50 miles on this thing. So I think that's what the trip on there said. Yeah, it's just about 50. I've been driving the shit out of it, just trying to find bugs and guess what? There's none. This thing drives absolutely Amazing. I'd say it's one of the nicest driving Cherokees I've driven in my life. I almost don't know the I don't know what Chrysler was thinking when they put this rickety ass ah, shit on here. And we need to get the second electric fan in. It hasn't been overheating, but it's been cold. It's wintertime. Summertime probably would have been, you know, running a little warm without that other electric fan. Is there a shroud that goes on this? Yeah, so we gotta put the shroud on. We also have a coolant leak. That is one of the bugs. That it's, it's the hose. It's the hose clamp Kyle's got on here. Yeah, it's, it's the factory, you know, press on one. So we also might do some detailing on this tonight. It'll give you a little short episode for you guys. Um, we're going to basically get the sending unit in. We'll test that, make sure it works, button up some other things, and uh, then we'll go for a ride for the first time. We'll go take it out on our uh, test course, the Central Oregon Shenanigans test course that we uh, yeah. came up with. Yeah. We'll go test the four-wheel drive and make sure the four-wheel drive is working on our test hill. On our feet. And uh, by then it'll be dark, so I'm gonna have to find some lighting. You know what we need is like a... Uh, well, like a light bar? Yeah. <laughs> Recording. All right, guys, so sending unit, courtesy of O'Reilly's Auto Parts, not courtesy, but... Um, <laughs> Part number for this little guy is an S4191, and that is for a 1999 Jeep Cherokee with the 4.0 liter inline six. Two or four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, Red. Alright, I'm Kyle. Team Ramrod. That is a 94. This motor came out of a 94 Cher Grand Cherokee, remember guys? So that sending unit's for a 94. Uh, what'd you do with it? Um, Will you stop moving my parts? You need to calm down. <laughs> that was 50 stinking dollars. <laughs> I know I should have eBayed it, but guess what? Kyle and I are kind of on a hurry to get this thing wrapped up. Did you just take my pliers? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to piss you off. God damn it. Do you, would you like the actual socket for that? What's... Yeah. I, don't ever use WD-40 to store an engine down the holes, because that's what that guy did, is he... Um, he soaked the cylinders in WD-40 for, and this sat for how many? A couple years, didn't it? Yep. So what we did to get these is we put restore down cylinders to get it to come back, um, which worked. And our lowest cylinder, we're going to retest tonight. If you guys remember the uh, restore episode, um, we're going to retest that hole tonight and um, see what the compression ratio is. Um, it's been sitting for a few hours, so it is 
Yeah, it's lukewarm, but it's not operating temperature. Probably by the time we get done with the sending unit, it'll be pretty chilled off. But we put 50 miles on it um, with the restore in the oil as well. We also have a combination of. Did we put Marv in here too? Marv and restore. Mm -hmm, I don't remember. I can't remember either. I know we put a half a bottle of restore in here though. Well, half the recommended dose. Yeah, half the re yeah. We bought the four cylinder because we couldn't get the six cylinder because uh, they didn't have any in stock. All right. So that gauge always read zero with that other one on there. So, God damn it! I need the keys. You ready? Yep. All right, guys, I wanted to show you something real quick. Booyah, look at this. She's done. She's shiny. She's done. You know, I actually shocked the shot. This is the first time I've ever done body work on a vehicle. I was, I actually did um, body work on airplanes and did it same, same. Bondo is Bondo, paint is paint. Yeah, so. Right. Um, we do got some overspray that I fucked up on that we're going to have to take off with some scotch bright pads. The plastic up there, I didn't get good enough. So that, and then the mirror, <laughs> yeah. oops, Here's got it pretty good. my bad. bad, but, but we got some cool stuff to take that stuff off of plastic and, um, I'm happy with the results. Kyle's like, he, he actually, he's like, oh, you can do body work. I'm like, I'm going to try. <laughs> he was worried. So. Oh, I wasn't that worried. But he was like, damn! <laughs> and some over So, definitely not as good as John Fox's truck, though. Go ahead and check him out over at the Fox shop. So, check. If you don't know what we're talking about, I'll link him in the description below. He'll also have a sticker at the end of the, the this episode. A subscribe button. Um, yep. You gotta take off Bondo, huh? Gla gla ass cleaner. I had glass cleaner. No, that's uh, that's my overall everything cleaner. Oh, gotcha. It took it off, didn't it? It will. It's just it's. On another note, over here, this is kind of cool. So, I went ahead the today. <laughs> it was actually today. Uh, my wife never can talk me into going to Costco, but I'm like, you know what? I'm in a good mood. I, I can do this because our Costco is just slammed all the time. I walked by this cool thing, and if you guys have a local Costco around, it has all sorts of bits, Allen wrenches, um, screwdrivers, Torx. I got this, and it's the Titan. Titan brand is what it's called. It's Titan. Um, for $20, $19.95. And um, we also got the puppy thermometer installed up on the wall. I got this new pegboard here. Um, we're getting organized here. We've been tr doing pretty good this year, but this side of the bench is getting cluttered. So I'm trying to get stuff up there. So what's cool is this is going to be mounted outside now, out here on the wall. I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's just a bunch of old Dremel bits. Actually, I'd probably take everything and box it up and then get rid of that. Gonna have to stock up on our wiring, a little low. Yeah, I can go to We're gonna go to place. Horrible Freight soon and stock up on things, but um, basically, Trish trying to get organized. I'm gonna have to go, this side of the workbench is next. It's just out of control. But definitely like the new pegboard. We're also getting an air compressor for here. So we have air, it's just time. How's Kyle doing on it? Oh, wow. It's coming off. It'll take me a few times, but it'll, it'll awesome. come off there. 
Chip. Yeah. Ah! What? Fuck. I forgot to unplug the coil. Let me see if it. Is it? Yeah. Perfect. What did we have the first time we tested it? The very first time? No, no. After we got restore out of there, was, right. was it 120? 120. So it stayed at 120, which is the the base. That's the low. 150 is the high. So guys, as you see, this is after 50 miles and several. Cold starts, yep. running it, uh, been running the kids back and forth to school. Restore on top of the cylinder does work. Um, like we said <laughs> before, use it at your own risk and make sure it's all pumped. Yes. What we had to do, I mean, we have a video on that, but we had to get it to fire on five to pump hard enough to push it all out. So. And just kind of have a buddy with a rag. Yeah. Or you can let it go all over the fucking place. Yeah, it's your call. Yeah. We're going to button this back up, call it a night. Um, short little video for you guys. All right. Well, guys, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And we'll catch you next time on Central Oregon Shenanigans. Bye-bye.